It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I've actually got plans to build myself a tree. A tree that lights up. Regular. Boop. Inverted. Boop. And we're back again. Yay! So as you see here, the little view, I've gotten all the colored pads there put on. And you can see from the sky, when you're down on the ground, they're not really going to notice them, but they look kind of pretty. I kind of like the colors of them, so that's going to be a nice little advantage. As you can see there, looks kind of cool, I think. All right, so why are we doing this? Well, the answer is because we've got a red net controller. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that out there. I'm going to plop this buddy down. Now, if you uh, have not played with Mine Factory Reloaded or have not played with, um, or worse yet, if you have the mod and you have not played with the RedNet controller, it can seem scary, <laughs> but it's actually a really incredible system. All of the RedNet logic you can think of that you can do in vanilla or do with Red Power slash Project Red and all those is all built into one central system. As I said before, this can carry up to uh, 15 different signals for all the, or sorry, 16 different signals for all the colors and has a whole bunch of different stuff we can do here. So what we're going to be playing with today is going to be the, what they call a wave, a square wave or a timer. This is basically a system that turns on and off, on and off um, a signal. Actually, well, I'm going to check here real quick, see if I have, uh, let's see, red net. Aha, we do. Excellent. There we go. This is called a historian. A historian is really helpful little utility. I'm just going to plunk it right here. There we go. And this is basically going to tell you what's going on, uh, what's being output. Now, when you look at the uh, RedNet controller here, I'm going to go ahead and do a square wave. First things first, you've got your inputs on your left and your outputs on your right. And there's a couple different options for inputs and outputs. One is a constant, so it's actually going to create a signal. Next one's going to be a variable, so you can actually have a variable coming into it. And then, of course, you've got uh, the colors, but they actually can be organized by what side or what face it's coming off of. So as you're facing the controller, you're going to have down, up, forward, back, and, of course, right and left. That means what direction it's going to come out. So in this particular case, we're going to go up. And you can, you can click through these by doing left click to go through the menus and right click to go back to the menus. Same thing with the colors too. Now I'm going to leave on white for a moment here to show what's going on here. Actually, this is the input. So let's go back here. I'm going to do a constant. Now the second variable here for the constant in the case of the timer is the delay. How long it's going to switch from high to low. So I'm going to go ahead and do, eh, let's do um, 30. What the heck? And then on the output, we're going to do up, and we're going to do white just for the sample here. And as you can see on the historian, boop, 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 the tree now has a heartbeat. <laughs> so this is basically all it's set to. You've got the constant creating a signal on and off. And uh, just so you know, the RedNet controller can do analog. Uh, so in this particular case, what this is doing is just doing signal strength of zero, signal strength of 15. Signal strength of 0, signal strength of, and back and forth. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to go right through the colors we set up there. So the first one we've got is red, so I'm going to go ahead and go to red here. And as you can see, the historian's now fallen off the register. And the reason for that is the historian is set to white by default, so it's not going to register the same more. But now we've got that set up. What we should have here is some red lamps, wherever they may be hiding. There they are. And as you can see, you watch here. And you watch there, you'll see them flipping back and forth. Now, this is why we did the uh, inverted and regular lamps. Instead of having to set up multiple of those sine waves for each one or each set and doing multiple colors, I can just do red. And then you get a good view right here. You can see the three different uh, red lights, and they start flickering back and forth. So we're going to go ahead and go through this for the rest of them. Now, you notice on the side here, we've got previous and next is a different pages. The default controller has uh, six pages and I think some number of, of variables you can have. And there's upgrades for that. I might do a tutorial later. There are a lot of good tutorials out there of how the system works. And there's, as you can see, a lot of different options here. So 
take a look at it. If you have this mod, don't be scared of it. Check it out. Try it out. There's some good tutorials online, both in video and text. Um, very, very handy. So page two. This is effectively going to be a, a whole second process. So again, we're going to do constant. And I don't want them to be identical. I want them blinking exactly the same. I want them to have a little bit of disorder. So we're going to go ahead and do this at 32 instead of 30. And this time we're going to go up. And we're actually going to do green. There we go. Now let's check and make sure I got that right. Yep, now the greens are going. And as you see, the greens are going just a little bit off from the red. Just what we wanted. All right, so again, next. This will be really quick. Got two more to do real quick here. Square wave, constant. And just so you know, I've hit the middle click button. As you can see, it goes up by 16s. And since we already have a 32, let's go ahead and do a 34. Again, we'll just keep breaking those up by a little bit. Actually, let's do a 35. I think it's going to be the highest I want to go. And do, 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 do. so we're going to do up. And then we're going to go to yellow that's yellow right buddy yeah yeah okay my little my little buddy here with me he's watching he's being good all right so last but not least for the fourth one we're gonna roll on down here grab that square wave and let's go ahead and do 33 let's see how that works and up and then one two three four blue all right, so there we go. Oh, do not hit this button, by the way. This will reset everything, <laughs> just so you know. So we've got this one controller with four different timers going off on it, and ha, 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 we've got blinky lights. What do you think, buddy? Look good? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, so. All righty. So there we go. We got the lights up. The next thing we're going to be doing is the ornaments. My son's getting very excited because he wants to see the uh, star go up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bubs. Uh, I'll get this historian off of here. So the historian is, is like I said, a really great way to, to measure what's going on with the lines here. We've now got four different channels going up through here and so on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cover this up since we are done. Oh, I actually had the wood on me. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I can't see anything. <laughs> How that sucks when you get old. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Now nobody is the wiser. <laughs> All right. That's a good looking little Christmas tree there. And pile on over here and see if we can't get what we need. All right, so the last thing on our list of to-dos is going to be getting uh, some ornaments here. And I have an idea for ornaments. Good Lord, I have a cat asleep on my keyboard. <laughs> Hi, cat. <laughs> oh, I'm glad she didn't, like, and then inadvertently stop him from recording. That would be bad. <laughs> I look down, there's like this cat face on my keyboard on the F keys. I'm like, oh, hey, look at that. Cats and kids, guaranteed to drive you batty. All right, so we are looking for to do something decorative that we can cut up. Now, I did think about wool, but eh. Lapis will work. That will definitely work. That's a pretty block. I have some ideas about some metals. Look at Work some people off with uh, do a couple gold blocks there. Yeah, I've got a couple of diamonds. What the heck? What the heck? Actually, I really need. I really only need one of these because uh, this will actually dice up into a lot of pieces. Oops, that was not what I wanted. All right, what else we got in here? We can use. Are going to be pretty. We've got a lot of stuff. This is our main AE system. Uh, we're currently since we have just the the founders and a few people on. Um, we have kind of a communal system, so everybody kind of dumps in here. So there's a lot of stuff here. Ooh, redstone. That'll look pretty. Get a piece of redstone there. It's a redstone block. Um, I wonder if that would look good. Let's try some nether quartz blocks. Now, unfortunately, because we're on 1.5, the uh, multi, the forge multi-part mod doesn't micro-block some blocks, particularly... Uh, the, I think it's the Highlands Biomes mod. All the uh, like red cobble stuff that comes out of it doesn't cut. So unfortunately, we can't use that. Uh, he said we've got the redstone blocks. I'm thinking we kind of don't need that. Let's see here. Oh, I wish I could hang apples. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be really cool. Let's sigh. Unfortunately, some items are just not placeable. 
I'm sure I could find some way around it, but you know, eh, it's a little bit too much effort. <laughs> I could do wool blocks too. Um, I you know, I want to do something a little bit different and just have a little more variety. Maybe something a little more colorful. Now, where are all... Yeah, I can... wonder if I can do this. Block. Ha-ha! Uh, block of zinc, block of nickel. Those look kind of similar. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I like that. That's a slab, so that's perfect. Do a little copper, too, while we're at it. Frostbound block. Sure, why not? Ice prison block cover. Huh. Oh. Whoa, is that... Can I microblock that? That's really pretty. All right, we've got some ornaments to get started here. Now, these... Ornaments, if you put them up, just, you know, a big old block up, it would it would be just kind of ridiculous. It's not really a, a ornament-looking block. So what we can do with our wonderful multi-block capacity, we can cut this bad boy down. And then we'll cut them this way into a pillar. Ta-da! And then one more time, we'll get these little notches. And these are basically a, a, a one-quarter or... I guess one eighth, one two, three, four, five. yeah, one eighth block in a sense. And now we put those up. Yeah, there we go. Makes them look a little more Christmassy ornamenty, right, Bub? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like the blue color. <laughs> so, so there we go. Put a couple of those up. And let me put one more there. It's diamond. You got to put a lot of diamond up, right? All right, so that's good. Ah, this one here, this Zelda. Oh man, can can we do this? Can we do this? No, <laughs> darn. I believe that's from the uh, chiseled mod. Unfortunately, we can't microblock the chiseled mod in this version. So bummer. It's so pretty. All right. Well, you know what? That's okay. We can go ahead and uh, we can we can work with this. I can put some here. I can put some up on the leaves there. I can put some in the back like that. See. Get a little variety there. And uh, let's see what's going to do. Let's do... Oh, wow, hey, how's it going? I didn't realize I'd left a uh, piece there. <laughs> Cut that up. So like I said, this is pretty much uh, the idea I'm running with. Now, I might take some of the blocks and cut them down a little smaller. You can go smaller than this. Um, you take the... Uh, the I, I'm just doing half slabs and cutting them down into... Um, these uh, notches, these corner blocks. However, we can uh, cut them down into panels. And I'll show you that real quick here. Oop, like that. You can see you get a panel of that. And when you cut the panel down, you're going to get these posts. And these posts turn into corners. And so with the corners, you get a few more of them, which is kind of nice. Uh, these are the ones I think of the do eight. And you see, this is a little bit smaller. So again, a little variation, a little variety. So I can put like, you know, a uh, corner like right here, for example. See, there's a little variation. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this out with a little bit of variety and get a little bit of color here. And when I get that done, we'll come on back. And the last thing we're going to be doing is putting the star up. So we'll get that out of the way. All right, I'll be back. Okay, everybody, we're back. And check it out. So I got a whole bunch of uh, the different variety of metals and uh, uh, gems and whatnot put up here. And uh, uh, got them all cut down. I basically just did a, uh, some of them they call, uh, oh gosh, good guy. This is, these are called corners. These are called notches. So these are basically a, a, a quarter or one, two, eighth of the block. And this is like a sixteenth. Um so I got all those put up. I put some uh, some of the uh, uh, nether quartz blocks in there to break it up a little bit. I may add some more textured blocks, kind of like that, because it's kind of blasé solid. But all in all, though, I can't complain too much. And look at the lights. I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm very happy with this. This is very cool. It's a lot pretty. <laughs> all right. So that said, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, from the top here, even with the little colored pads the lights sit on, it looks pretty cool. I like it.
All right, so obviously the last thing we have to do here is the top. We always, in my family's tradition, we always do the tree topper last. Uh, and this year, you know, we could do like a star or something like that. No, no, no. For me, it's all about angels. And in this case, well, come on, it's Minecraft, so boop. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So that, my friends, is a right proper Christmas tree. I, 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 uh, I'm very happy with this. It's a little uh, poking around here. Like I said, it's a matter of uh, matter of taste and opinion. But I really like having the jungle leaves. I have that that that, that multicolored and, and, and shade to them. That actually makes them look really, really good. So there's our Christmas tree, and uh, I'm gonna get uh, some chests put out here and some. So we can put some bows or something on top of them, make it look all nice. Um, but that's going to be it for today. I appreciate uh, you hanging out with us. And uh, if you have any uh, fun Christmas tales, uh, let us know. I always like to hear stories about what people's uh, Christmas lives are like. It's it's funny. Like I told you, my mine has always been a very filled and very busy family. And now uh, I usually spend the holidays with my wife's family because we live with my mother-in-law. And... They're always a lot smaller and more peaceful and quiet, so it's always a very odd thing for me. So, <laughs> uh, anyways, I uh, appreciate your time, guys' time, and uh, I'm Warp Jester. As always, uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, likewise, you can uh, leave me a like, let me know what you're into, and uh, I'll try to make more of that. Uh, likewise, you're certainly welcome to subscribe to my channel. I do try to put out a video roughly about once a week if I can. Again, I have family, so it's a little bit difficult sometimes, but I do try. Um, I actually got a couple of them piled up I'm trying to get through. Um, also, if you uh, uh, want to know a little more about uh, the server I play on, it's the Bottle Rocket Gaming server. That's BottleRocketGaming.com. Um, you're welcome to pop in the forum and say howdy. We are a whitelist server, and uh, we're pretty much gearing this server to uh, YouTubers in general. So we actually have anybody who's into YouTubing can uh, look into joining us if they'd like. Uh, we'll be happy to uh, talk with you and uh, get to know you a little bit and uh, see if it works out. We'd love to have you on the server and uh, do a little server play with us. So anyways, again, thank you so much. Have a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. <laughs>